Hello everyone, my name is Bappi Ahmed and welcome back. So guys, in my previous video, I have already discussed about like what is data structure and what is uh, an algorithm. I think you got the understanding. Now in this video, I'm going to give you the idea like why this data structure and algorithm is so important. So guys, as a software engineer or let's say as a computer scientist, actually, uh, what we need to do whenever we are trying to implement any kinds of software product. So there actually we'll see whenever you are trying to implement any kinds of software product, you will get an input data. Okay, you will get a data from the user side. So first of all, you need to process them. Okay, you need to process them. Uh, you can arrange them, sorting them, combine them. Okay, you can also perform some of the mathematical operation. Then as an output, actually, you need to show the correct format of the data. So let's say here is my random data user has given. Okay, so here I have done some processing and this is the information I am giving to my user. Now see, by reading this information, user can get to know, okay, why, uh, what is the uh, information and all about and what is my software and all about, right? So this kinds of processing you need to apply, okay, to make an efficient product actually. So that is called actually data structure algorithm. So with the help of that, actually this data structure algorithm, you are able to perform these kinds of tasks, okay? Now guys, to give you like more good understanding, what I can give you, I can give you another example, okay? So let's say, so let's say you are building uh, one Google Maps, okay? You are building one Google Maps software. So here actually, what will be the input data? So here user will put the current location, okay? He's in, and he will also put the destination location like he want to go, right? Now here, what you need to do, you need to make one system here, okay? With the help of this data structure algorithm. So here, what you need to do, here you will be doing the processing, uh, you will be using data structure algorithm and here you need to provide the output. Now guys, uh, here if you see to achieve this kinds of uh, correct output, what you need to do, you need to perform this kinds of processing task. Okay, with the help of this data structure algorithm, the data user is giving, you need to first of all process them, you need to apply data structure algorithm on top of that, then you'll be able to uh, like get this kinds of output. Okay, and this should be correct and efficiency. Okay, I already told you in a algorithm, okay, you should always uh, like uh, focus on the correctness and the efficiency otherwise uh, this uh, product actually user won't be using so let's say here you have developed one algorithm this is not like correct and this is not efficient so what it will give you it will give you some wrong results okay the, the wrong, wrong path so let's say uh, if you uh, search something here and it is giving some wrong uh, let's say path and if you reach to the point actually so next time people won't be using your software okay so that's why this correctness and efficiency is so, uh, so much important and to gain this correctness and efficiency, you should always analyze the data. You should always uh, follow the data structure and algorithm technique to get this kinds of output. Okay. Now, guys, I think you got the idea why this data structure and algorithm is so important. Okay. Now, guys, let me give you another example of this data structure and algorithm. So let's say uh, here is the library. Okay. Here is one library. Now, in that library, actually, you want to fi uh, figure out algorithm related book. Okay. Algorithm related book. Now, uh, see, in the library, you will have different, different section. Okay. Let's say there would be biological section. There would be physical section. Okay. There would be, let's say, uh, chemistry section. There would be computer science section. So what you need to do to get this kinds of algorithm book, first of all, you will go to the computer science section. Okay. In the computer science section, you will have another section called algorithm and the algorithm section itself, you will get the algorithm related book. Okay. So here, uh, what is happening? Actually, this books is nothing but your data. Okay. And uh, the organization of this book called data structure. And the finding the correct book you are looking for that is called algorithm. Okay. Now I think you got the idea. Now let's say if this book is not in this correct format. Okay. Now let's say you have this kinds of book in a library. So you won't be ever able to find that particular algorithm book. Okay. So that is why data structure and algorithm is so important. Now this uh, example gives you the entire clear cut idea like why this data structure and algorithm is so important. Okay. So guys, you got the idea like why this data structure algorithm is so important. Now, now I will give you the second answer why this data structure algorithm is important in the interview perspective. Okay. So whenever you are applying for any kinds of jobs in a product based company or let's say big tech company. So they will give you this kinds of data structure algorithm question in the interview. So why they're giving this kinds of question in the interview because they want to see your problem solving skill because if you want to implement any kinds of software product, okay. So most of the code is already available over the internet. So what people does actually, people will uh, copy paste this kinds of code directly. But let's say if they are not able to understand that particular code, okay, if they are not able to understand that particular logic, so what is the idea of creating the software, right? So that is why all this company you will wait with the help of this DSA. Okay? So they will give you some of the problem statement related DSA, and if you can solve them, okay, so they will evaluate you. You have this problem solving skill, okay. And then actually they will realize, okay, uh, if you are also copy pasting the code from Google itself, okay, you can uh, make your own changes there, right? 
so guys apart from that actually they will evaluate with uh, another uh, things actually uh, they will see the actually time limit okay uh, like uh, how good you were on the coding actually how much time you are taking to implement one particular code and all okay so that thing actually they will also measure so what happens actually in the industry so whenever you get some of the work okay whenever they assign some of the work so they're actually what is your expertise limit actually so uh, in a short period of time you can uh, finish that particular code or not okay so that is why this thing is very much required so whenever you will be uh, doing these kinds of dsa okay that means data structure and algorithm coding and all so they actually also need to focus on this time limit so that you can uh, solve this uh, the problem statement okay in a short period of time so that is why actually this dsa is like very much uh, required in the interviews whenever you are attempting any kinds of big companies interview so yes guys this is the complete idea now in the next video what i will uh, show you i will show you the different types of data structure and different types of algorithm with that guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time